G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of The Lapping Life. This episode, we are heading Shark Bay World Heritage Area. We're here for two weeks and we are keen. We, I'm, I'm frothing. <laughs> so, what do you think? Oh my God, I'm so excited. The flies are insane though. Yeah, at the bloody, well, where we are now, hopefully they're not too much worse where we're heading, but plans are, we're here for two weeks. First stop on our little trip is Hamlin Station for one night, moving on to Denham for a couple of nights, then on to Monkey Mire, four nights at the Dolphin Holiday Park there, and then for some exploring. Got to let the tyres down, move on to Francois Perrin National Park for bulk fishing, bulk camping. That's going to be awesome. So we'll catch you then. First stop, Hamlin Station. guys so we're here at Hamlin station we checked in had a few beers set up and now we're just on one of their one of their walks so they have a few walks around um, they've got a pretty specky lake um, as you come down the driveway here so we've just decided to come for a bit of a squid the facilities around here are mm. ridiculous aren't they so clean and just like in the middle of nowhere mm. it's, it's ridiculous so nice. they've got awesome showers awesome toilets clean as awesome camp kitchen and seating area it's bloody yeah it's really good anyway <laughs> catch you on the flip side cheers good morning guys we're on the road again this morning we had the best stay at hamlin station Amenities were spotless and the campsites awesome. So we're on our way to Denham this morning. But before we hit Denham, we're gonna go to a beach named after Shell. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Shell Beach, isn't it? Yeah. Is it's it called, called Shell Beach or Shell Bay? Um, Shell Beach, I think. It's just a beach full of instead of sand, it's little shells. We'll give you a squeeze when we get there. How cool is this? Shell Beach. It's literally made up of so many different little shells and the day on it, the water, is just can't get any better. But yeah, with all the little shells, there's a couple of a couple of bigger shells around, just like this one. Stuff, but um, I was walking along before and I saw a huge shell. And they say that there's only like ever been a couple of these and they're only found here in the world. They're called um they're called, I think they're called a ra shell, and they look a bit like this. <laughs> <laughs> just laying along the beach, it's the only one ever found in the world so far, and I just named it a ra shell. <laughs> wow, well, wasn't that good? We, um, we heard on a YouTube clip last night to um, go and visit the Ocean Park Aquarium, which is probably, uh, I don't know, what was it? Five k's out of Denham. They got little tanks everywhere with heaps of different fish. They've got like a venomous and poisonous tank. They got uh, a heap of sharks. They got oh, heaps of stuff. You'll have to go and go and see, go and give it a visit. We'd um, definitely suggest it. But yeah, just for a cruisy day, we've. Had a pretty slow day, got up late, had a late brekkie, just cruise, because it was a bit overcast today, so we decided just to have a bit of a cruisy day on our first day in Denham. If you're around this area, around Shark Bay, definitely give the Ocean Park Aquarium a, 
a squeeze, they do the shark, shark feed and all that sort of stuff too. So it's really good to see, and I'd um, yeah, definitely put that on your bucket list when you're coming through here. Anyway, on to a few beers. Oh my god, I'm so happy right now. We just arrived in Monkey Maya and holy moly, we have four days here and it's like we're in a complete different country. Honestly, it feels like we're in like Hawaii or Fiji. It's so luxurious. We've just finished setting up and the first thing we did when we got here was walk down to the jetty and we've seen some awesome things already, like in the first five minutes of rocking up here. Yeah, literally went in, paid for our um, the passes yes, to get in. Yes, that's another thing. You have to um, pay for a, a day pass or you can get like a family holiday pass. So that's not actually covered in your parks pass, um, annual pass, <laughs> pass, pass, pass. The annual parks pass we paid yeah, that for one. a while ago. So it's either 15 bucks per adult per day or 25 bucks for a week, I think, per adult, so. Yeah, well, anyway. yeah anyway, we went and bought those and then walked straight to the pier before we checked in and saw like, what five or six turtles yeah. heaps of fish just on the pier it's on the little jetty there and yeah it was awesome so yeah, I know. If, it, if it's going to be anything like that it's going to be a bloody good stay i reckon it is and apparently they've got eight resident turtles as well that just hang around the pier so we'll probably go sit down there this arvo and see if we can make friends with some yeah and then see what else we can find eh? yeah but we are starving so we're going to cook up some lunch and we're going to go watch the dolphin experience tomorrow morning they feed the dolphins out the front of the resort it's all included in the price we pay to stay here so you can just yes. rock up whenever we want and yeah have a look around how good make some new friends How are we? First day in Monkey Mire and we are woken up early and we're off to the dolphin experience. Yes, so excited. It's all dependent on the dolphins, so hopefully they're hungry this morning. Yes, because we're supposed to get an absolute drenching today around 9 o'clock I think it is. Yeah. It's supposed to get about 10 to 20 mil of rain, so we're hopefully going to get this, well hopefully the, the dolphins are excited and know it's supposed to rain. They want to <laughs> keep us all nice and dry, so. Yes. Hopefully we can, uh, they can come in early this morning, get it all done, and um, we can get back to the, to the rooftop tent for uh, shelter. <laughs> yeah, shelter and keep dry for the day. Experience, wasn't it Charlie? That was so cool. Mm, I loved it so much. Yes, the, uh, they didn't come in as early as we liked. We had to sit, sit around and wait for what, about 15, 20 minutes? <laughs> yeah, probably about that long, but they came in for a feed, which was so cool to see. The, yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, the ocean like the beach was pretty rough because we we're expecting a heap of rain, so. Yeah, it's pretty windy. Yeah, we're thinking we might go back tomorrow morning or the next morning when it's a bit more calm. And Yeah, I think yeah. Saturday's the way to go because yeah. we're supposed to get a heap of rain tonight and 
or today and tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. And the dolphins don't really like the rough water, so they don't come in super close to the shore. So yeah, we'll try again. But it was still so awesome. Oh, there was heaps of them too. There was like probably yeah. like 10 or so. But they only ended up feeding two because yeah. I think they've only got a license or something to feed yeah, two of them or a couple that, of yeah. them. But yeah, I reckon Saturday's the way to go. Hopefully the day's a bit better. And, yeah, um, we'll try again. Yeah. Anyway, we're on to uh, go and make some brekkie. Go in the camp kitchen and hopefully we'll get there before this rain comes. Because <laughs> it's getting very gloomy. Well guys, the rain and the wind is here. And it is ridiculous, as you can see with our little, <laughs> with, our, with our canvas behind us, it is absolutely pumping with wind, and the rain is not any worse, really. <laughs> We're just having to survive and try and just ride it out at the moment. Um, it's like the edge of a, of a cyclone or something they were saying that was coming across this way. I don't know whether it's still is a cyclone or not, but it's, <laughs> it's, de it's definitely it's windy and uh, definitely not fine. So it's going to be like this during the night. I think it's going to be a very rough night's sleep. Mm -hmm. but as long as we keep dry, warm, I don't think it'll be too bad. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Anyway, it's our first check-in. Hopefully we're still alive next time we talk. <laughs> Have a look at the day. It's just beautiful. atrocious out there. It's like we're back in bloody Victoria. This is the weather we're trying to get, get away from. Denim for a little fee. 
So yeah, not exactly sure where it is, but we've seen it on a wiki cam, so we'll go yeah. over to the squares and see how much it is. Yeah, we'll let you know how much the water is as well. As you can see here, it's a dollar for 20 litres. So we're just going to chuck out the dollar we do in and turn on the water. Turn this on, starts filling up. She's all done. Turn her off. That's it, all full. Pockets, bit of that, bit of that. <laughs> Good morning guys, just rocked up at Francois Perrin National Park. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, just rocked up here at the pay station. So we're here for five nights, I think. It's Monday now, we're here till Friday. So we are heading to Bottle Bay. So I'll show you the map here. So we're down here at the pay station and we're going all the way up to Bottle Bay. Charles is going to put some money in and yep. we'll be off. Keen as, just making sure you got the number right, 22 bucks, or oh, $11 per adult, so 22 bucks a night, not too bad. Chuck her in here, Dal. <laughs> Oh, goodbye money. 110 bucks, so hopefully we stay five nights. It's no getting that back. <laughs> <laughs> but, Keen, we're yes. nervous. Yeah, we're keen. Charles is a bit nervous. She's a bit uneasy, sand driving, that yeah. sort of stuff. But we'll let the tyres down up a bit further at the homestead. And we'll be on our way. Yep. We'll check in, I guess. I'm That's it. bogged or hopefully at our campsite. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Rightio, so we're at the homestead here and I'm just starting to deflate my tyres. So we're going to be running 20 at the front, 25 at the back because we're a bit heavier. So we'll see how that goes. If not, um, if we're still getting a bit stuck, a bit boggy, a bit bogged down, we'll just let a bit more out, but see how this runs. Bay campground and didn't get bogged. <laughs> Props to Broads driving. The um, first 30 k's was actually like not too bad. The sand was pretty hard but soft in some places and then the last 10 k's was just like all soft sand but it was fun so <laughs> I enjoyed it. I was pretty like nervous but Broads did really well so we're gonna set up camp now and um, spend the next four nights here. We were at Loop C, we checked out all the, there's three different loops you can stay in. We checked them all out, but Loop C has the biggest sort of site and it's close to the beach as well. So yeah, we'll set up here for four nights and um, kick back and relax. All right guys, we're all set up now here at Bottle Bay. Time for a beverage. We're on to the good old EMU export now that we're WA-ins. Charles has even got one. Cheers. Loves them. And I'll tell you what, if you don't have one of these bad boys, these Yeti stubby coolers, mate, you're missing out. They keep your beers so cold for so long, even in the heat here, compared to like normal stubby holders. And they are gold. They are, and the beer is, I'll tell you what. But we are set up. The Ute, facing out towards the water. But I'm going to keep you in suspense because this place is golden. But this is how far it is to the water. Just jump that little fence there and I'll run out to the beach. Have a look at this for a spot. A little bit gusty where we're parked up. But have a look at this.
the view, the life. It's gonna be so good. And no reception, no bloody Netflix or anything like that. So we're just gonna take it in and relax and it's gonna be good. Supposedly good fishing here too, so got some bait, got some bits and pieces. So have a bit of a throw, throw around and hopefully I can catch something for you. But you know me with my vision, <laughs> who knows what could happen. swimming like this is a proper like swimming beach imagine if that went in your foot bloody hell we're going to do a good deed for the day and I'll take that back and chuck them in going alright the salvo here it is little cracker on a bit of squid it's huge isn't it <laughs> massive look yeah, Look nice. How big it is. <laughs> Good one. Another monster fish here on the beach. <laughs> At Bottle Bay, absolute monster. Here it is. Oh, playing off a bit. Don't know what it is, but it's a fish. First double hookup ever. Nothing major again as we. As we know, there's this. Couple of little fishies. One on, we've got one on squid, one on whitey. How's that? Mm -hmm. Pretty beautiful colours. Look around, oh, green dye, isn't that? Oh! oh. <laughs> it's getting a bit dark now, but I'm not sure if you can actually see in the GoPro. But that like big white thing behind me, that is the moon. It's absolutely massive and it was like orange before. I've had a pretty successful day fishing today. Broads are still going at it and he loves when he catches fish, he just can't stop. So we'll um, probably pack up here shortly, have some dinner. And we'll see you in the morning. Hey again, guys. Good morning. How are we? We, uh, after a couple of days of just chilling and taking it all in, doing a bit of fishing, uh, we're back. So the plans today are to have a bit of an explore. I think we're going up to Cape Perrin, which is just a couple of couple of k's, which is like the tip of Francois Perrin National Park. Then we'll come down and then go over the north side um, to have a look at Skipjack Point there. The fishing is really good out here, but I haven't really got onto much, which is a bit of a bummer. But we're gonna have a bit of explore today, come back in the Arvo, try ourselves some more fishing. And yeah, I guess we'll see ya on the road. We just got back in the car after looking at Cape Perrin. Yes, and it's definitely um, what you'd call desert meeting the ocean for sure. Isn't it? Yeah, it was so hot. That was the sand meeting the ocean, like the dunes. Oh, how hot! Well, yeah, how hot it was as well. Ah, oh. uh, yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's bloody hot out there, anyway. So. Yeah, yeah. The car's saying 38 degrees, mm. but. 
I don't know whether it's 38 degrees. Yeah, it definitely. Not. It definitely feels like it, like off the sand. Mm. Since we've been here, I reckon like the sand has a real, like it absorbs the heat of the day, but then when it starts to cool down, it gets real cold overnight. I reckon it's got to do with sand, but yeah, that's just my theory anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good theory. <laughs> but anyway, next stop is Skipjack Point. Yeah. Which is about Keen. two k's back from where we come from. So. Yeah. Would that be like north? Losing my bearings. Yeah, I guess it's north. It's on the north side of the... The world? <laughs> <laughs> it's on the north side of the point that Francois Parent National Park comes yeah. out on. How cool is that guys? We managed to uh, get a few videos of uh, a manta ray and a, and a big shark. Um, sorry we didn't do too much talking or get too much other footage because you know us, we got the we got the GoPro out and literally started talking and went to walk out there and I died. So I only just got it back from charging while we went for a walk. But yeah, what a beautiful spot that was. It had a couple of um, platforms to go out and have a look at along the boardwalk um some great great bits of water to have a look at got the real light aqua or turquoise blue water going onto the reef it looked like and that's where the um that's where the big manta ray and the big shark were heading off to so that's pretty cool managed to see some fish just right along the edges, just like directly below us, right along the cliffs or in between the rocks and whatnot. But yeah, awesome, awesome cliffs, awesome red cliffs onto turquoise water. It was bloody specky, so. Okay. <laughs> this is what we want. Get out a bit further. Well, that was a good little session. Had this um, bloody beautiful beach behind us. All to ourselves for the afternoon. Charles had a bit of a read, a bit of a lay down, a little bit of a fish at the start. Didn't last too long though. Nah, I got over it. <laughs> and then, yeah, I walked down the beach a little bit further from where we were parked up and got onto a few. Nothing to write home about, but got onto a, a decent uh, little pink snapper and another little fish that something was. <laughs> <laughs> about the same sizes, but um, yeah, they're probably the biggest fish that I've got onto uh, since we've been here. That's us done for today. We're walking back. Yep, big hike back now. Yeah, we're probably. Geez, how far do you reckon we are from the car? I think we walked half an hour. Yeah, whatever half an hour walk is from where we're parked up. But I am keen for tea. What's yeah, me tea, too. Shall? I'm having chicken burgers. Yes. Um, oh, what are they? Like low. country fried chicken burgers or something? What southern fried oh, chicken. Southern fried chicken. <laughs> southern fried chicken burgers. Bit of bit of cheese, bit of mayo, bit yeah, of Yeah, we're running a little bit low yeah. on the ingredients, but we'll not make too do. much healthy stuff because we're sort of run out of that. I think the plans are for tomorrow to move on to South Gregory's. Yeah. Which is probably I think it's about ten Ks south from where we are. Yeah. Um we did have a quick squeeze there today after uh, after we went and had a look at Cape Heron and skip Jack Point. South Gregory's is a bit more like this, where as Bottle Bay, as you probably, as you probably have seen, is more sand to water situation rather than sand rocks to water. <laughs> yes, <laughs> very good description. <laughs> but anyway, heading back now. Got a bit of a hike on us.
Well, we made it to the end of our week at Francois Perrin National Park and we had so much fun. Honestly, it is awesome out here. It's so worth like doing the extra Ks and going all the way to the tip of the National Park. It was just insane and you got to see where the desert meets the sea and just the scenery is just like next level amazing. But we're on our way out now. There's actually like a, comp a free compressor you can use on your way out to put um, your tires back up, which I thought was pretty cool. So Birds is just doing that fun job for us now. We thought we'd stop in at Big Lagoon on our way out of the park and we found that it was actually really family orientated. There was a heap of caravans there. So I think it was probably like maybe five or 10 Ks from the entrance of the national park. So heaps of caravans and full drives got in there fine like the roads were completely fine just a little bit corrugated on the sand so it's definitely worth a look in there if you don't feel comfortable going all the way to the tip of the national park so now we're just going to head back into denim stock back up on supplies because we've been just living off like random stuff the last couple of days we need to get some more food in the pantry and we'll do a bit of admin stuff and yeah we'll just relax for a couple of days in denim but that brings us to the end of this vlog unfortunately we hope you've really enjoyed watching this one we've really enjoyed our time in monkey Maya and denim and then the france Wine national park it's honestly just like a whole new ball game to western australia it's just awesome little spot we were actually going to head to Dirk Hartog Island from here, but we decided against that just because the ferry that you get across to the island, it's around $800 return. And for us travelers, it's not really something that we can just spare. And also they only let allow 50 cars, I think on the island at one time. And we just planned it way too late and we tried to book campsites and they were all just kind of like booked out or they were just like really scattered days and we couldn't get any consecutive days in a row so yeah it just like it wasn't going to happen for us this time around unfortunately but keep that in mind if you're heading to Dirk Hartog just book very well in advance and just yeah know that the ferry will sting you a little bit but I'm sure it'd be absolutely worth it over there but anyway, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video and stay tuned. We're heading to a few stations in the next one, which is exciting. And we're going to head inland to Mount Augustus, I think it's called. So like and subscribe if you want to see more of our content and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys. I'm always in love.